Hi, Diane here at Ranger Headquarters. We've just finished Ranger U 2013. It was fabulous. So while I'm here, they won't let it go till I've done a few videos. So I'm just going to do a few videos for you. We can start with a simple one. Um, we're just going to use the glue stick and stencils. Now, some of you might have seen my lovely friend Kaz, the lady in waiting, doing this technique on stamps. But I'm going to use it on stencils and it's the collage glue stick that we have I love this glue stick absolutely love it stick everything with it I am a glue stick girl and I'm just going to take the glue stick and I'm going to put some on the stencil now if you put the stencil down and rub through when you lift it up you'll have glue spots everywhere so I've discovered that if you just run some actually just over the stencil itself and then place it I'm just going to show you this on a tag Place it on part of the tag and took, just take a piece of the scrunched up kitchen roll and then just gently wipe it over. And what will happen is that the, as you're wiping over, the glue stick, oh, this must have been a mucky stencil, the glue stick is going through to leave a pattern. So I'm just going to move it again slightly. I'm actually going to put a different one on show, just to show you you can mix them up. So again, hold it in your hand. None of this glue is going behind onto my fingers at all. Place it down, glue side up, and then again I'm just going to rub over it with the dry kitchen roll. Don't use a um, baby wipe because you'll just spread it everywhere. And then I'm going to come back up here with a bit more of this. And then spread through again. And then we'll add some more spots up here as well. So you can mix and match the um, patterns up, the stencils, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to pop it to one side to leave it to dry on its own. I'm just going to clean the stencils and the way to do that is to just spritz with a little bit of water, baby wipe and wipe it off and they just wipe clean and they're not sticky anymore. So it's best to do this as soon as you've finished because if you leave them, you forget, you pile them up and then you can't get them all apart. And it just means that this has got some time to dry. So you can see here, luckily that was a dirty stencil. See, it's hard to see when it's a clean stencil actually. But this is quite, this is quite dry now. So I'm going to take some colours of ink. I'm going to take sunshine yellow. I'm going to do some puddles, two puddles. Let's take the pink. Oops. Take bubblegum pink and then we'll add some funky fuchsia. So just add your ink as normal. I'm going to add a little bit of water on the top because I'm going to actually, I'm just going to take the ink off onto another tag. There we go. So this is what I'm left with there. And then normally, I, well actually I might do it, but I think everything might fall out. I normally don't bother cleaning what's on the mat. I take my journal and I just swoosh it across the ink so I get a background. And then, you notice I didn't blot this or anything. I'm going to take a baby wipe. You can still see a little bit where the resist is, but I'm going to take the baby wipe and I'm just going to gently rub over the top. So this is why I didn't blot it, because it doesn't matter whether the, um, there's excess ink on there or not. So if you just polish it up, just go around in a circular action and polish it up. And there you are. You've got your glue stick resist. Easy when you know how, isn't it? <laughs> 